Hello. Today I'm starting a whole new painting. Uh, it's not going to be this little painting here. It's going to be much larger than this. It's going to have some figures and things on it. What I'm trying to do today is practice with the background. I'm not exactly sure what I want to do yet, and I don't want to start on the large painting, painting you know, the background and stuff, and then realize this isn't really going to work. So if I can get it down here with the vision that I'm thinking about, then I can copy that onto the other painting. Um, hope you enjoy it. I will talk to you later. So as you can see, I've got some stuff going on here. I'm just trying to cover the canvas with values right now. You know, lights and darks. You know, I'll go in a little bit later on and and uh, change things around a little bit until I'm happy with it. Okay, right now I'm just laying in colors. Values mostly in colors. So you, Center of interest is going to be right here, actually right in this area. Love oil paints because they make this sort of painting so easy. You couldn't do it with acrylics. Yeah, you might be able to do it with acrylics. I've never been able to do it with acrylics because I'm not really an acrylic painter. But I've seen some acrylic artists do some really, really nice work. I'm just not one of them yet. I'm liking this part over here and these clouds are looking pretty fluffy in here right now. And I like this, this cloud portion right here. Need to do some work over here on the right hand side. I'll try to do a little bit of here, show the, the light source. Helps you see where the light source is coming from, which is the left. This area right here where I'm laying in this real light area, this is going to be right about the, um, the focus of the whole painting is going to be right in, mostly in this area, but right here is the real area. And so I want to lighten that up so that the image in front of it really stands out and it'll draw your eye to that area. Secret is doing it without making it look too busy. Make it to look too busy, it really detracts from what's really important, which is the subject matter. So I'm back. This turned out pretty much like I wanted it to. Got a pretty good idea of where everything's gonna go with the clouds, the colors, the lighting, the, um, the darks. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this one over here for now. And I'm gonna put up painting that I'm going to be working on. This painting is 40 or 24 high by 40 long. I call this the return of Jesus Christ or the second coming of Christ. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to title it as yet, but if you, it's really hard to see, but you can see a whole army of riders up in here some larger characters here, and this is Jesus Christ himself. He's gonna be wearing a blood-dipped robe. Everything is gonna be white horses. The riders will be wearing white robes and all that stuff. And what I did with my painting yesterday, as I laid it behind my subject materials um, with Photoshop, gives you a little bit of an idea of what the composition is going to be. It looks kind of funky right now, but trust me, uh, when I'm done, it will look really, really well. Um, so, and the great thing about oils, as I've always mentioned in most of my studios, I mean most of my videos, is that you can always lighten or darken. It's a very, very forgiving medium, and uh, it's not a very good angle. See what I'm doing, is it? I'm going to change angles here. 